Um, hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy here, I Salim, and today I'm gonna show you how you can use iBoy RAM disk to bypass your iOS lock devices, iCloud lock devices for Hello Mode. Um, for those who are new to this channel, welcome and please consider subscribing. Yeah, also for those who want to support me and support this channel. I'll provide the link in the description below also for this tool I'll also provide the link in the description below so as you can see I have my iPhone 7 here which is iOS 15 as you can see here it is iCloud locked um, yeah so this tool can bypass it for free you get when you, you if you are a new user to this tool iBoy grants you five dollar credits for free where you can bypass one devices for free guys so if you used up your 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 um, your credits and you want to bypass another device you have to add up your own credits via the admins of the free tools so yeah i'll also provide the link to the telegram group of this iBoy where you can get support and other stuff like if you want to contact admin to add credits yeah so as, as I, so I show you my iPhone 7 here it's iCloud locked iOS 15 so here's the tool as you can see not registered and we'll need to put it into Conde view mode so first of all let's, let's put it in the on the view mode. Um yeah. Okay now our device is in the view mode. All we need to do is to on the view so first of all let's make sure our drivers are under libu usb devices libu usb disk so as you can see my driver is under usb libu usb disk over here so if your driver is not under libu usb disk all you need is a dig which is that one open it then click option list of all devices then select apple mobile device the few mode from the list then yeah so if your device is not under the libusb disk devices driver i mean driver your driver so you will see this over here and this over here so all you need is to replace drivers like you will select libusb disk from here select libusb disk and replace or reinstall driver but my driver is already under libusb disk I'll not replace it so all I need is to gaster don't worry I'll provide all the tool tools in the description below all the links so um yeah gaster pawn type gaster pawn uh, also now our device is been on the view when you see now you can boot untrusted images um, the device is already pawned so now we'll need to replace this driver back into universal serial bus controllers so all you do simply just select from the update driver browse my computer let me pick yeah then you'll pick the 2017 version that is the stable one select then next and close sorry about that so you can see now our driver is under universal serial bus controllers that is a simple way the other way you can do this is you use a dig again and interchange the 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 drivers from there from the selection over there so okay now what you need 
is to register your ECD status. Make sure when registering your ECID, your device is in the fuel mode or in, or in recovery. Also, to be assured, make sure to gas or to print the fuel device first before registering your device. So, how to register your device? Easy. Just click, select, copy then register CID so you can register CID through a telegram group as i can say one device is for free you get five credits five dollar credits for free and you can register your CID make sure your device is in the fuel mode so my device is already registered but for you you can i'm just showing the tutorial so as you can see your account is five dollars you have for free this is for free so what you need to do is all you need is type slash ecid then paste your ecid so um this is i don't know it's for my pc is it a bug or i don't know why but if you look closely my ecid from here the one i pasted and the one i copied from the tool is completely different as you can see here this one and this one are different so um if you have another pc if you see like that make sure the the ecid from the tool and the ecid we pasted is 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 they are similar so um i don't know why this is happening to me but if it is happening to you all you need to do is use another another pc or computer yeah because if you copy a different ecid from your phone it will get registered and ecid status registration will be will still be not registered so yeah